What is up, witches and wizards, muggles and nomads? I've got some amazing news for the Harry Potter Magic Awaken game. There's actually going to be a uh, Fantastic Beasts and Magic Awaken collab starting April 8th. So in the game, you're going to see a couple of events. Uh, this is good news for us as global players too. Just, you know, going to touch on that a little bit later in the video, but I want to go over the details of this so far. So... The Snowy Owl has recently heard that my classmates were talking about some legendary stories from the past. The thrilling wizarding war from the early 20th century, the interesting and exciting ventures of a magical zoologist. At the same time, there are many changes quietly happening on campus at Hogwarts. So, this is the little uh, owl that brings your mail at the beginning of the game. You're going to get this exclusive information from that. Uh, one is a powerful spell. The story about the old headmaster and a very dark wizard was recently brought up again by the students. The dark wizard was said to often use a spell that would emit blue flames. Souvenirs. The students were eagerly discussing the stories of the two wizards and some souvenirs began to appear on campus. Then third, where is the Niffler? Hagrid seems to be planning to bring a litter of Nifflers into the castle, but these little animals love to run around. Can you help Hagrid find where they're hiding? And four, special discovery. In a certain corner of the castle, some students seem to have found traces related to that legendary story of the past. Now, there's also an official poster made to announce the collaboration between the movie and Magic Awaken, as you can see here on the screen. Of course, yes, this is not in English. However, um, you know, you can use your own little translator there to figure out the secrets of Dumbledore and Magic Awaken together. And of course, I want to look at these images here. So the new card, the brand new card, which I'm assuming will be legendary, is going to be Protego Diabolica, and that is actually the blue flames that we see Grindelwald use in um, the movie itself, where he's you know completes that little perimeter around him, and you know Queenie goes through, and then another one of the uh, his little followers goes through, and he then teleports out of it. So my assumption is that this is going to be sort of an AOE meant to combat anything that isn't an ally. Maybe like uh, the Frey Twins or other companion cards like Grop or, um, you know, just making sure that there is a, a, a area of protection around the actual player itself that then is able to also do damage. So if anybody comes within that, I'm assuming that the damage is going to be pretty significant. And I think this is going to be a great card to combat people who use Fiendfire, uh, people, again, who use Roaming Companions, people who use Ron Weasley, Grop twins etc etc then we have two cute little stickers here we have a grindelwald sticker and a young dumbledore sticker a frame for your character or your player which i'm assuming will again be unlocked from the event itself and then of course this last sticker or last bit of information this image teasing the niffler gold event that will be coming in i'm assuming it'll be a lot like when we had a couple uh, weeks ago where you you know you unlock these little bitty Niffler gifts and then you can finally spend that currency to actually shake the Niffler and basically take its lunch money and uh, use that gold to then upgrade your cards or whatever you need that for. Now here's the good news for global players. This is a big deal because um, one of the things that they did with Wizards Unite back in the day was they started to tease this game during the actual movies uh, that were coming out and uh, this wasn't at every single theater. Some were different. Some you know were uh, promoting it and some weren't however this is kind of a big deal because NetEase and this type of game like they don't do a whole lot of marketing a lot of the games that you've seen them release maybe in the past or if you're familiar with them didn't do a ton of marketing in the Americas they just sort of were on the scene after they had done a lot of the development overseas and so this is kind of a big deal to see them promoting this game here and potentially, you know, even have a trailer at the movie itself. That would be fantastic to push people to the game. And of course, you can't push people to a game that doesn't exist. So hopefully this means that the release will either be announced in a trailer or it'll be released online and then promoted through the theaters. I'm not 100% sure on that. However, I think this is great news because they're obviously still very active. They're obviously still coming up with events and updating with new cards like we see here with, again, the Protego Diabolic. And I cannot wait to see what this looks like in the game. It's going to be so sick. I am excited for this. Obviously, again, I think that they're going to either announce this release in you know, the next few weeks with the movie um, or maybe even give us a more specific window of time because all their tweets and all their updates just keep saying coming soon 
coming later this year. And I have no idea when that is. I hope it's not holiday 2022 when they're going to be releasing Hogwarts Legacy. Um, I have also been doing some Hogwarts Legacy stuff. So if you're interested in that, make sure you click on the cards above. Hit that like button, subscribe, and notification bell so you can be made aware the next time I produce either Hogwarts Legacy or Harry Potter Magic Awakened content. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.